Hello, thank you for joining me. So this is the next video in our series defining wall structures. A book calls it or just defining or editing or modifying a wall. What we're going to be doing is we're going to define a wall by putting components inside that wall. Typical walls made of a structure, but we're going to have additional components with it, as we've been talking about, such as finished components and maybe some sub-structural elements, such as sheathing and other things. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. We've already renamed our wall. We have an interior four and a half inch drywall, wood stud dash drywall. I went ahead and renamed that to something that was a little bit more descriptive than just plain generic structure. So I called it interior four and a half inch drywall dash wood stud dash drywall. And now we're going to go ahead and edit it. So now we have the wall, which is a modified uh, eight and a half, uh, eight inch uh, generic wall. And just to zoom in a little bit closer, take a look at that. It doesn't really show a whole lot. It just shows the structure of that wall and nothing else because there's nothing else there. So we're going to go and edit that. So if we go to the structure button, go to the edit button that's an, uh, associated with that, you'll notice that the structure is 8 inches of nothing. So the structure is by category. We're going to click on back category and actually select some sort of structure to it, some sort of uh, material. We're going to go ahead and uh, click on uh, wood dimensional lumber and then go to OK. And for the thickness, we're going to type in uh, three and a half inches. That's uh, the typical width of a two by four, two by four. So we got that. We got a structure. We got a wood dimensional. We got our uh, value in there, and that's good. So we're going to go to OK, or just click. No, don't go to OK yet. I'm sorry about that. But click on the outside here, and that kind of adds that to it. So let's go ahead and insert something. Let's go to the Insert tab, and we're going to add a finish element into it. Now what it's doing is it's putting stuff between the core boundary. Remember the core boundary is bound, bounds whatever the structure is inside of that. We're going to put drywall in there. We don't necessarily want that in our core boundary. So we're going to move that up. We're going to move that up instead of structure. We're going to call that uh, finish. Finish one. By category we're going to select gypsum wall board. So if we scroll down try to find uh, it's the last G here, gypsum wall board. And go to OK. We're not going to change any of the other elements that are in there. You know, we're not going to change the appearance or some of the structural elements. We're just going to keep those as they are. Uh, later, when we want to make uh, additional modifications, so we might want to uh, make think about making some of those uh, so those changes. So we're going to type in uh, 0.5 and then uh, quotes, double quotes. Uh, remember Revit test question. Remember Revit thinks in feet, not inches. And then uh, click out here. We're going to insert another one. This two is going to be finish. Finish one. And instead of by category, or by category, we're going to instead of going to the, you know, what's what's selected there, go back to gypsum wallboard again, and this too we're going to type in 0.5 inches. Now what we have here is we have two finished elements in the same side of the wall, none in this side. So you can take one of these elements, doesn't matter which one, and go to the down button. Uh, a couple clicks later, and that's down at the bottom. So what you're looking at here is a sandwich. It's a wall sandwich. Structure in the middle, which is our wood dimension or a dimensional lumber, three and a half inches. We have drywall on the outside of our core boundary and drywall on the other side of our core boundary. And if you look at our uh, our view over here, and if you don't have that preview, by the way, click the preview button. And if it is in a section, make sure it's a section. And kind of zoom in on it, maybe on the bottom. It'll kind of give you a little bit, a bit of a perspective of how much you're looking at. So you have your structure and you have your finish elements. So anything is between the green lines that's in here, you can see the green lines going from the left to the right. All that is structure. All that is structure. Okay, we'll continue this with the next film.